Horizon. As the gale of endorsements of Governor Udum Emmanuel sweeps through the state, the people of Old Abak Division, popularly known as Abak 5, have also risen in one accord and in one voice to pass a ringing vote of endorsement on Governor Udum Emmanuel and urged him to go ahead and run for a second term, assuring him of their total support come 2019. The leaders, stakeholders, and indeed the entire people of Abak 5, comprising Ika, Atemekbo, Uruganam, Ukanafon, and Abak local government areas, at a grand reception hosted for the governor and the first lady, Mrs. Marta Udum Emanuel, who is a daughter of the soil, the people rolled out the drums and raised all their trumpets, singing the dividends of good governance made possible by a man who they did not just see as their governor, but also a worthy son-in-law. In their carnival floats across the ancient town, their songs, their colorful attires and their bold expressions, Abak Five emphatically maintained that five-star performance has defined Governor Udum Emanuel's administration so far. Hence, it will be unthinkable to pause a music that is pleasing to the ears and soothing to the soul. The much reason Governor Udum Emanuel should remain in office till 2023. The people of the old Abag division, whose daughter, Mrs. Mata Udum Emanuel, is the state's first lady and whose son, Mr. Moses Igbo, is the present deputy governor, believe that they were in safe hands under the leadership of Governor Emmanuel and could not hide their excitement over his magic wand that has seen to the development of the state despite the challenging national economic times. Prince Akbanikum is the leader of the Abak Division Youth Movement. <laughs> The reception was chaired by the National Legal Advisor of PDP, Barista Emmanuel Enoidem, a major stakeholder in ABAC 5, who took time to eliminate on the rationale behind the massive endorsements of the governor by the people of the two federal constituencies. Summarizing the position of the five local government areas, Enoidem, a former local government chairman, 
said Governor Dumi Manuel has done remarkably well in steering the ship of state, as reflected in his turnkey projects and other landmark achievements. It was a gathering of political heavyweights, which included the former governor of Akwaibu and Senate Minority Leader, Senator Goswil Akwabu, other serving and former political office holders, elders of the state, royal fathers, chieftains of the state ruling People's Democratic Party, the clerics, among others. As usual, the National Assembly caucus leader of the state gave the governor a distinctive grade in performance, eulogizing him as his credible successor in office. I came as a witness to see the mammoth ground that appreciate what God has done in a quite of faith. Your Excellencies, I wish tomorrow were to be election day. You will be the first re-elected governor in 2019. I'm saying this because I know where we are standing. When I stood here in 2007, and I repeated in 2011, you said, carry on. When the election results were announced, I was the first to be announced in 2007. In 2011, when you endorsed me, I was the first to be announced in 2011. Let me tell you, sir, today, you will be the first to be announced in 2011. Yes, let's see. your people love you. Mother, we are very proud of you. You are a great ambassador of an island. My dear, women were the first to see Christ. Through you today, your governor, your dear husband and our leader, in a quiet of say, through you, has become the first re-elected governor in 2019. Several other speakers paid glowing tributes to Governor Dumi Manuel's administration, emphasizing that he deserves re-election for his landmark developmental strides in the state. In number four, so do Emmanuel, who would we vote for in 2019? Nobody. Nobody. I don't know. Can we vote for him? I need to prove what he has done in this, this state. Apart from that, he's ruling the state with the fear of God. That's what he did in the two months. Besides. What of looking specifically? Into the poor, poor and the poorest families in this state. Your Excellency, because of your good works, we all in a 
apartheid. And apartheid is something particular uh, for you. We are praying for you. You are going to go on challenge. If you go and somebody come to challenge you, that is <laughs> on its own. We are not going to be for him. We are pleading with you. And you are doing these good things for us. Please continue. Let me say that Peter is encouraged by the teeming population have turned out to receive you, Your Excellency. Of course you know that any time you step your foot in the sun, soil of Adam nation, it's always welcoming you home. Because we are happy with you and we celebrate you. So Your Excellency, we thank you for having peace and we thank all the people working with you in the executive arm for cooperating with us in the House of Assembly to make sure that there is peace in our We will give you the environment to cooperate. We will give you the peace to work on. And we make sure that the work and make sure that we will continue to receive the defense of democracy. On behalf of the speaker and our members, Your Excellency, welcome to our back five. Thank you for coming. Madam, our sister, thank you for coming. We are proud of you. God be with all of you. Because in your government, Your Excellency, we have seen decency. Your Excellency, we have seen humility in your government. We have seen integrity. And above all, Your Excellency, I've won and born our back five. That is why we invited you to tell you thank you very much. So we are grateful to God Almighty that this day has come to reality. A white bomb rising. A key aspect of the reception was the defection of over 20,000 members of the All Progressives Congress, led by the Director General of the State APC Campaign Organization, Chief Sonny Udum, to the People's Democratic Party. Flanked by serving ward coordinators and local government leaders of the party in the zone, they said they came to PDP because the party the Heath Atto professed has failed Nigerians and has no strength in the state. They have forgotten many people, including me. That is why today we are coming back here. We heard about change, but the change turned out to be from Saipan to... BDP! <laughs> yes, yes, uh, okay, I come back to Umbrella. The Umbrella is a very good symbol. For those who know geography, you know that there is something called uh, the layer, also layer, which the umbrella can cover. But we discover that the way they use the broom, they use the broom to, first of all, not to sweep the floor, but to clear the cobwebs and clear the also layer, so that the sun that has come up on us now is so unbearable. The sun is so unbearable. Apart from that, we discovered lately, many people did not know, that they can have a get them quite in front of the camera. These people that are returning to PDP, they said, I should give you their message. And this is their message. They told me to tell you that Oyo Central District had their eight years. Income and Central District had their own eight years. Income and Central District must have their own eight years and nothing more. they are here today, that if they make any mistake, and Udomi Manuel does not take a second thing, 
that project is scattered. So, they say it must be you. Because there is no other person that will take it for the next four years. And there's nobody that will say, oh, I will go for four years. You can never believe that. So, Your Excellency, they said, I will tell you that they are for you. Eight years. The DCAMPs explained that they were sold a bunch of lies by the empty slogan of change, but the much-touted change turned out to be a case of jumping from frying pan to fire, hence their decision to return to the umbrella, which is a very good symbol of shelter and comfort. As expected, welcome and comfort awaited them as the state PDP chairman, Chief Paul Ikbu, again displayed the desire of Governor Emmanuel to operate a policy of political inclusion in the overall interest of the state's development. On behalf of the People's Democratic Party, the leader of the party, Governor Akwai Bomsted, performing Governor of Akwai Bomsted, modern Governor, and the proud product of the People's Democratic Party. And I want Nigeria to note that the only party and the only available party in Nigeria and Waibon is what Today, the ones that were confused, the ones that did not read very well, the ones that God touched their heart today have come to join you because they know that there's no better governor than you. So I receive you in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Twenty thousand people have joined the only known party called the People's Democratic Party. And I tell Nigeria it's only pretty people we have in the Bible. We don't have any other party. Man of the moment, Governor Gumi Manuel, flanked by his wife, Marta was heralded into the podium by an uproarious crowd of the appreciative people of Abak 5 Division. The governor revealed that he is committed to ensuring that Akwaibum State soars higher in a skyline that is dotted with developmental strides across all sectors in the march to the land of greatness and prosperity. My predecessor, it means then there must be continuity. That's why I don't know. Don't know where you can have to be. You got a bazillion sound. I said, I don't know. I don't I get clean sea. I don't go. I get this construction. I don't know. I get out of my jail. I don't know. Before you go on, Fredo, I can see me back. But let me also give you an assurance. Just this week, a person, week before last, Minister of Power Mali, any down member the pioneer scheme in Tongonge, so that he can know about industrial estate, a proper industrial estate. I back me, I mean, for my industrial estate. I back substation, I back me. Even born, I'm talking before the TV, I'm putting him. Because of the industrialization, I want to find it. You need the negative generator. I want to find it. You need the negative generator. I want to develop electricity. So I want to make sure by May 29 this year, we are going to plan your scheme. I'm going to do it. We need to make sure there are at least they do a back five, minimum of two local government areas, and I need them 24-7. Minimum of two. And 
Governor Emmanuel, while listing some of his achievements in the five local government areas of the old Abag division, including major road infrastructure, explained that education, healthcare delivery, wealth and job creation remain his cardinal programs for the people. I better like say, we want to concentrate. I'm not no way education, I'm not a friend boy. No way education, I'm not a friend boy. Nibo, are you NCNC? You're not a friend boy. Because <laughs> Then we must stop that. We must end that. So the only evidence nearly what Nigeria are know that next YA, the best students are the working YA in the Bible. A young father was in the young boy that read the Bible. In the end, they don't bother with the Bible. In the meantime, I go what in Korokoro. I have to raise my hand on day and night. I want to make sure in the next three months, I just say that I'm three man. I can be managing around about five. I go for it. I just say that. Go for it. Go in Korokoro. Get ready to be young. Go for it. Go in Korokoro. So I promise you, in the next three months, in the next three months, go for it. Go in Korokoro will be up and running. I want to make sure. Iban, Ibi Ru Manamo Rupe, Kesra Ruana, or Kika, or Get the Maple, a very fair Araka Anua, Kugano, Igor Guru, Adema, Mogi Goro Gorinamso, Mogi Goro Gorinamso, Abana Mitia Mitia Duru, Tenanga Didong Mengbon Duru. I want to let you people and reassure you that whatsoever is remaining, if I work in a Guinea, it's serious development man in three years. That's why I'm very mad at you, my friend Parawa, free ban, a freedom. Say, well, young man, so young man, that one good thing deserves, one good thing deserves, one good thing deserves. From all ramifications, Governor Odom Emmanuel justified before the people the mandate given to him in 2015 and the one to be given to him in 2019. Even those who could not mount the podium owing to exigencies still found time to express their candid happiness with the governor and did so with candor. Odom Emmanuel, it was, not, it was choosing to come and do and the structure of Gwabon State. And they want to, you should start from when, where, of course, we are stopped. From the look at things, I, I saw that he has been able to bring up the people of Gwabon State. He has done more than people expected. So, Udom, we today coming to this uh, uh, forum, this meeting, I've seen him. 
as somebody that will carry up a web of state people along. And and he has made his mind to make sure that web of state will continue from there. This event is the mother of all rallies because the people of Abak 5, over 200,000 people in the entire five local government area of Abak, Itimeko, Ika, Oruonam, and Ukanafun have chosen governor, chosen to endorse Governor Udo Mimano for a second term in office based on his performance. You can see the who is who in the back five, from the Excellency, the Deputy Governor, to every youth of the back five coming together to endorse His Excellency for a second term. Seeing his sustainable development, the way he's doing things in Akwa Ibom State, he has, he's a man that is governing us very well. That's why we are out here to support him for 2019. Development that is done so well that is transformed and brought to development and to the whole entire ABAC 5. So we, we are so happy. That is why we called His Excellency and the wife to show uh, solidarity, support about this two, um, second term meeting, two, 2019. It was indeed a celebration for the creative, prudent, and exceptional leadership skill of the state governor, the youth, and indeed all stakeholders of ABAC 5 are well exposed, educated, enlightened and knowledgeable people who have risen above board and aligned themselves on the path of truth. Their agreement with such uncommon unanimity means that Governor Emmanuel has delivered convincingly on good governance. This defines the celebrations at Abak Township Stadium, which has now come to be referred to as the Abak 5 Mega Rally. Oh, what's up?